listening to the Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. It's almost Advent. I know. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, I am excited about Advent this year. I don't know. I'm excited about Advent. I'm excited about Christmas. Uh, every all year. The things. Yes. But it's good. Yes. It's good to be excited you know, for Something it. more so about it this year. Yeah. Uh, thanks to Concordia University, Wisconsin for supporting the Coffee Hour. Find out more about Concordia University, Wisconsin at cuw.edu. Live uncommon. So it's almost time for Advent and we need some resources for Advent. So who do we go to? <laughs> Our friends at Concordia Publishing House right here in St. Louis. Joining us today, Elizabeth Pittman, Senior Manager for Public Relations and Concordia Gospel Outreach at Concordia Publishing House. Elizabeth, thanks so much for joining us on the Coffee Hour. Thanks so much for having me, Andy and Sarah. It's great to be with you today. So Advent, fun season, a uh, season of all about waiting. Maybe that's... It's a fun waiting. time of waiting though, right? Yeah. How often do we get to have fun while we're waiting? <laughs> Unless you're a child, and then this, it's just it's true. <laughs> <laughs> but as adults, we see we see the the great value. So, how do we help families, especially children, see the joy and the value in waiting? So, you have some fun resources for us to help us with that. Where would you like to start off today? Oh my goodness, I there's lots of options, and I will say that especially with younger kids, having those resources that can help build a routine and build a habit. I know with my kids, I've seen that. Once you start, you got to be careful what you start, right? Because if you start it, you better finish it because they'll let you know if you don't, which is kind of good for holding us as adults accountable. But one of the things that's really fun to start a, a habit and a rhythm during Advent in your home is our Jesse Tree Family Kit. And this is something that we launched last year and the response was overwhelming. People loved the chance to have this daily routine that that brought the whole family together uh, around looking at the reason for Advent and why we were waiting. This year, it's, mm -hmm. and actually, we it's it's still back. We've upgraded the tree. So if you remember the tree from last year, it it was a little, could honestly, could be a little challenging to put together. We have a great new tree. It's beautiful, easy. You pop it up and it's ready to go. But every day you can read through, there's, there's a children's book. There's also family devotion. So the whole family is involved and engage. And then plus coloring, you know, kids love to color. We as adults, I like to color. It has the ornaments that you can personalize and decorate for your family and really make it a habit and a, an event every day to work on it. Mm -hmm. Is this, is it, what, uh, what age groups is this good for? Is this little kids, older kids, uh, maybe older adults that don't have any kids and just want to color ornaments? <laughs> you know, anybody who likes to color ornaments will enjoy it. But the children's book, I think, for the kids, probably the preschool, kindergarten, early elementary will really jump into it. I know my nephews last year and my youngest son really enjoyed this. Uh, I also have a 13 and a 15 year old who don't think the same things are fun that my eight year old does. But <laughs> there, <laughs> so you have to kind of be creative. But there are there are the family devotions, so the whole family can gather. You can involve the older kids. You can involve the adults through the reading of the daily devotions. And maybe you have one of your older children read the whole devotion, read the read the Bible verses that go along with it, but kind of tapping into what each age group really likes to do it. And so I think adults will like it too. We've seen the people of all ages, it's kind of nice to have that, that daily reminder of uh, what we need to remember as we're waiting. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. This looks like such a fun resource. And I know yeah, people are excited about it last year. And that tree looks amazing in, in the... Uh, it's a, been a, a great improvement and it's going to make it very easy for families, even in the classrooms, teachers to have this in their early elementary classrooms would be really neat. All right. So we've got the Jesse tree. What else is available from CPH for Advent? Well, one thing that I really love, it's one of my favorite Christmas books that we have, Advent books that we have, and it's Counting to Christmas. And this is Family Advent Devotions, and it has calendar included in the book. And this was written by Gail Paulitz, who is just a wonderful Lutheran educator. She worked for CPH as a, an editor and writer for many, many years. And this, it's a, one, it's a beautiful book, but every day there's a devotion that families can come together. And in the very back of the book, as I'm looking at it, it comes with an Advent calendar. So, you know, kids like mm -hmm. the anticipation of lifting that flap to see what's there. And while well, this is a book, so there's not going to be chocolate or candy behind the flap, <laughs> but there, there are elements that tie into the devotion for that day. So this would be a neat thing to do, you know, maybe sitting or together as a family after dinner or 
in the morning over breakfast um, or at any point in the day that works for your family? That uh, putting chocolate in it could be very messy. Yeah. But I mean, maybe. if you figured out how to put chocolate in a book, <laughs> you know, that, that, would be a bestseller, I think. You figure out how to put chocolate in a book. <laughs> that that's awesome, <laughs> excellent. Uh, just looking through it, it looks like a, a a good opportunity to sit down as a family. And I've I've used uh, there was one other one. I think it was Holy Week or Lent that yes. Gail had written a few years ago, yes. and we used that for actually we used it for a special family prayer time after school with some other families during the Lent and Holy Week season, hmm. and it was really helpful. So oh, that's a great uh, time to, to do it. it. Yeah, we were trying to find a way because we knew that for some families, Wednesday evening Lenten services just were a little late for those really little kids, oh, like the hard. preschool kids, for the grownups too who have <laughs> little kids. So we decided to meet right after school for some family prayer and devotions, and uh, that was a great resource for that. So love to see this for Advent. Uh, maybe we'll put it to use in that way as well with some well, other families. I like how you're creative in that, and I think you do have to be creative, especially if you do have other young kids or even older kids who are busy with activities. I know my, my congregation has a service right after school, which is great because families and the students mm-hmm. can just walk right over and go right into that Advent worship, which is very helpful for us as parents. So Counting to Christmas and the Jesse Tree, uh, other resources for us for this season of waiting, Advent. (laughs) Sure. This year is the Advent series. Every year, CPH has an Advent series that uh, brings together elements for the entire congregation, from sermon series to daily devotions to a children's program and a kid's book. And so this year, uh, the series is Symbols of Salvation. And in particular, there is the children's book, Symbols of Salvation, the Story of Jesus' Birth. It was written by Megan Gramzo. And it's just a darling story that helps walk the kids through uh, at, through the Advent story. And, you know, they walk along with Mary, Joseph, and the sheep. And it's, it's a fun way to help them see the story. And, you know, young kids especially, once you read a book once, I, you may have run into this, like they ask for the same book over and over and over again. And what mm-hmm. better what better stories to tell, you know, every night before bed during Advent than the story of Jesus, his his birth as we wait for that. So that's mm-hmm. a neat one. And then you can wrap the whole family into this with the daily devotions. Again, similar to what we talked about, the Jesse Tree devotions, you know, what, as a family, whatever time of day works best for your family to sit together and go through the devotions. And it might it might be five minutes after dinner, after school, on the in the car ride on the way to school. If you have an older child who can do the reading while you're driving, um, but then even to use that devotion as a kickstarter for conversation, if you have that time. I remember growing up, some of the most fun memories after dinner were those impromptu conversations that you never expected to happen, but then you realize as a family. You've been talking about things for forty five minutes after everyone's been finished eating, and having that rhythm where it starts with the devotion can really trigger some of those conversations, which I think is a neat, is neat for families. Mm-hmm. Tell us about the the congregational resources that are available with symbols of salvation. I, I, uh, I spy a new hymn. Is that right? Oh, Sarah, the hymn nerd comes out to play. There is, there's a new hymn. Oh, great. I am almighty word. And so that will be, it was, the tune was composed by Jacob Weber, who is just a marvelous composer. We're mm-hmm. blessed to have him here at CPH. And so the lyrics were by David Rogner. And I wish I had the lyrics directly in front of me. I'd read them to you, but there is a new hymn. And that's always fun to bring in uh, the message of the season through hymnody. There's also a series of the, the worship resources come together with uh, four Bible studies. There's four children's messages in it there. There's a sermon series. And we made it easy for the congregations. It comes with a media kit where they can download the different things that they need to fit into their materials. I know every church does things a little bit differently in terms of how they put together their bulletin or the resources that they share with their congregation. It also has a children's Christmas service. So I hope that in this pandemic world, we're able to start seeing some of the normalcy come back with children's services and bringing together families to celebrate the season. And so that along with the family devotions that are great for, you know, all ages, whether you have kids or not, you know, the daily devotions come together and spend some time in God's words. It's a great tool. Excellent. Well, we have just a a couple minutes left. Other resources that uh, you'd like to share with us from Concordia Publishing House for the season of Advent? 
I think a fun one that I enjoy a lot is this, if you've never checked out the CPH Music YouTube channel, go do it because it makes a great soundtrack for your day. And there are several there are several playlists there already that feature Advent music, Advent and Christmas music. There's playlists for every season of the church here, but Advent and Christmas in particular. And click it on, whether it's at home or in your office while you're decorating your home for for the season. Beautiful choral and organ piano music, uh, some hand hand built music in there as well that will just it's. Mm. It's just, it's, it's great to listen to. It gets you excited and makes that waiting time really fun. Season of waiting, Advent, but lots of great resources to help us with that waiting mm-hmm. and to really enjoy and embrace that waiting during Advent. Um, find these resources at cph.org. Elizabeth, what's the, what's the number for folks to call if they want to check out some of these items? Well, the, the easiest way would be to go to our website at cph.org. That will take you to the full list of of our resources. But if you want to call in, if you if you like the phone, you can dial one eight hundred three two five three zero four zero. We'll take you to our wonderful customer service team. I'll let them know. You can they'll be able to help you out finding anything you need. And also cph dot org twenty four hours a day. Go check it out. Elizabeth Pittman, Senior Manager of Public Relations and Concordia Gospel Outreach at Concordia Publishing House. Thanks for all the great resources for Advent this year. Thanks for having me. You've been listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. 